even, all other even ideas. Though, even though the, the International Criminal Court accuses Hamas of war crimes, yes, they also accuse. Uh, accused Benjamin Netanyahu and Israel's yes, defence minister... Yes, first accused Benjamin uh, Netanyahu and... Of, of, ...of war crimes too. So you would be willing to work with Hamas. That's what you're saying today. Victoria, for many years, it was Netanyahu who was feeding the division and it was Netanyahu who was allowing funding for uh, Hamas, thinking that uh, that will maintain the, uh, the fragmentation and will block the emergence of a Palestinian state. That's number one. Number two, for all, for all these years, it's, it's Netanyahu and the US, sometimes even the UK, saying, who should we talk to? The problem is Palestinians are not united. And then when we go and come up with a political vision, that allows for a technocratic government, then the question becomes, how do you allow Hamas? Which our, you still haven't answered our, yet, sir. Our, our unity as a people, the unity of our political system is paramount okay. for the cause of peace and for the cause of establishing a two-state solution that the US, UK and US always espouse. I want to ask you about the more than 100 Israeli hostages that are still being held captive by Hamas. They have to be released now, don't they, for there to be any chance of peace at some point? As Alicia just said, uh, a deal is on the table for many, many months. And as you just heard from uh, the US Vice President, Kamala Harris, only two days ago, that the deal is on the table and Netanyahu must seize it, i.e. Israel's strongest, closest ally is telling us and Netanyahu it's in Israel's court. And right Hamas now. needs to seize it too. I, I think according to the medita mediators, now Israel must decide because the deal has been offered to Israel whereby the first phase will release all the civilian hostages. There will be exchange. And remember, Victoria, and we need to remember, we have hostages. Israel took uh, more than 4,400 only from the West Bank since the 7th of October without charge, without trial. The situation in, Pal in Israeli prisons for Palestinians is simply so the unimaginable. The torture, the murder, uh, the, the starvation of the, uh, of the prisoners... Uh, of the hostages. They should not be called prisoners of the hostages. So there will be a deal. I think we are prepared for that. But the one thing that's stopping us is Netanyahu's personal calculation. He knows once a deal is, is done, he's done. And this whole idea that we are after not Hamas, but the Palestinian people, that's why they are after the uh, shelter houses, UN. They are, not, they are no longer bombing cities because they run out of, of targets. They're bombing people hiding in shelters. It's about the Palestinian people and the extermination of the Palestinian people. Thank you very much for talking to our audience this morning. Thank you. Thank you.